Hey everybody, I have some updates for you regarding how we're going to handle our worship services this weekend. But before I do that, I want to pray for you. I realize that right now, prayer is the, the best thing that we can do and it absolutely changes things. So let me start by praying for you. Lord, I thank you for my friends. I thank you for my family. I thank you for this incredible church that is serving those that they love so very much right now. Lord, I know that in this time, in this season, there is anxiety and fear and your word declares that we can cast all of our cares upon you because you care for us. You also instruct us to give thanks, Lord. And so I want to begin today by giving thanks. Thanks that we have a house. Thanks that we have a place to, to live. Thanks that we have food to eat. Thanks that you are protecting us. Thanks that at this point, nobody in our in our family has been sick or, or been caught up in this COVID virus. Lord, you have protected us. God, I ask that you continue to watch over us and protect us. And Lord, your word then declares that when we give thanks, we can bring our prayers to you and that you will provide us with the peace that passes understanding that will guard our hearts and guard our minds. Lord, I ask now that those who are fearful, those who are scared, those who are uncertain, that you would begin to bring the peace that you promise in your word, that you would guard their hearts and guard their minds and would do incredible things, Lord. God, I know you're with us. I know your word declares that you haven't left us and you haven't forsaken us, and we stand on that truth. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I hope you're doing well. I miss you. I wish I could be with you. I'm coming live from my kitchen. Um, I'm running out of places to film these videos, and so uh, trying to get you a new background in each, in each video. Uh, here's what I know. I know that our world continues to change. I know that uh, there are many of you who have already called or emailed or texted and said you're in self-quarantine, and I understand that, and I respect that. And just evaluating everything, as much as I want to meet together, I think the most prudent thing is to go ahead and forego our, our service times this weekend. And in fact, actually, we're going to forego all activities until at least April 3rd. You may have heard today that uh, Governor Abbott has closed all schools till Friday, April 3rd. So we're going to follow suit and we're going to uh, kind of go along with those guidelines. What we are going to do is create a new digital online community. And we want to make sure that we continue to connect because we believe that connecting is still vital and very important. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have our normal Sunday service at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, it'll be up on our website. You'll be able to uh, uh, check in and watch and, and see what the Lord is saying through our, our worship and through our word. And then next week, we're going to begin doing Zoom connections. And so if you've never used Zoom before, Google it, download it. Um, we'll walk you through it through email. We'll walk you through it in video. Uh, but if you are uh, able to go ahead and, and get ahead, uh, we're going to move to some Zoom online communities next week. That's Z-O-O-M. And what we're going to do is each day we're going to have opportunities to connect. You won't just be watching. You'll be able to interact. You'll be able to talk. You'll be able to chat via um, text. And what we know is we need to create opportunities to connect. So there'll be a youth time to connect. There'll be a children's time to connect. There'll be opportunities for our adults to connect. Our life groups are able to utilize this if they'd like to connect. But what we know is we want to stay connected. Nobody's alone. If you need something, we're here for you. If you need prayer, we're here for you. Our prayer line is still open. It's 817-888-0607. Spread the word. If you don't get somebody on the call, leave a voicemail. We'll call you back. You can text that number if you want to do it anonymously. That's not just for the Grace Community Church family. It's for anybody who needs prayer. So pass it on. You're welcome to invite anybody to our digital times. You're welcome to invite anybody to watch our service. What we know is we want to encourage you, we want to serve you, we want to create opportunities to connect, and if you need anything, please reach out to us. You can put prayer requests in the, in the notes below, you can, you can let us know if you have need, you can text, you can call. Please know we're here for you, we love you, and we're going to get on the other side of this, and we know, we know, we know, we know, prayer changes things, and we know God hasn't left us. I love you, I look forward to connecting digitally. Uh, please, please let us know if there's anything you need. I'll see you soon.